Tonight, tributes for Jacksonville City Councilman Tommy Hazuri continue to come in. Hazuri died over the weekend following complications from a lung transplant. Now, Councilman Matt Carlucci is asking council members to support an emergency ordinance renaming the chambers the Tommy Hazuri Chambers in recognition of his unparalleled service and love of Jacksonville. Carlucci tells On Your Side's Kid Amaro it is just the right thing to do right now. Kid. That's correct, Anthony. Tommy Hazuri has served this community for decades, and Carlucci tells me that when he told him about the proposed legislation while he was in hospice care, that Hazuri cried. I also spoke with his cousin, former First Coast News anchor Donna Deegan, who says Tommy Hazuri loved this city. Tommy Hazuri is being remembered as affable and proud of his Lebanese American heritage. Every other year, we do a Hazuri family reunion. And I immediately grabbed a sign off the table that said, I'm the favorite. And he looked at me and he goes, now you know I'm the favorite. <laughs> I should have that sign. And I said, I know, you're right. Uh, but, but that was Tommy, you know, he was just a light bulb. Former First Coast News anchor Donna Deegan is Hazuri's cousin. In this picture, Hazuri on the right and Deegan's father is on the left. Deegan says she was by his side while he was in hospice care. That bright smile, you know, just was there up until the last couple of days. I mean, he was just still Tommy. And I think that peace that he exuded gave all of us a lot of peace too. She called the effort to rename city council chambers as a perfect tribute to his public service. I think it's a lovely sentiment. And, and again, I think it, it harkens back to, to the fact that Tommy was willing to get in there and do the work. City Councilman Matt Carlucci is sponsoring the ordinance. It's hard for me to imagine Jacksonville without Tommy. Carlucci a Republican, Hazuri a Democrat, but politics could not break the bonds of their friendship. His term as council president, he may as well have been mayor because he was the strongest voice in Jacksonville's government. Um, and I've lost family, but I've never lost a close friend. In a letter to other city council members, Carlucci wrote, the recognition is well deserved. When I was able to tell him about the legislation I introduced, he cried. He said that was very significant to him. Uh, the vote on this proposal legislation will take place tomorrow evening during the city council meeting. Again, Mr. Carlucci is hoping that it will pass on, a mer on an emergency vote instead of having to go through the traditional readings. Back to you. Touch so many lives. Kim, thank you. And you can honor Tommy Hazuri's life and legacy later this week. There will be a visitation Wednesday night at Hardage Giddens Oaklawn Chapel. The funeral and burial will follow on Thursday morning. We have the exact times and the address of each event right now on our website, firstcoastnews.com.